have students literally from all over the world. The only continent we don't have representation from is Antarctica. Go Penguins, we encourage you to apply. But otherwise, yeah, we truly have a very, very diverse student population, over 60 different countries represented. The new students coming in who are new for this fall represent about 31 different countries. A few of the new countries in that population are Costa Rica, Kyrgyzstan, Ghana, Gambia, Poland, Romania, Uganda, just really a very diverse population. This fall we are expecting to have a total population of about 180 to 190 international students. And by international students, I just want to clarify that I'm talking about uh, international students who are coming on Madison College's visa support on the student visa. The college has a very diverse population of other individuals that may identify as an international student, whether they're uh, an immigrant or on some other visa type, but the students that we work with in the Center for International Education are um, specifically on our student visa support. We have a wide range of ways that they can get involved, many of them stemming here in the intercultural exchange. We coordinate a program called Cultural Connect, which is a semester-long peer mentoring relationship between U.S. students and international students. So we would welcome anyone who would like to be involved in that program to contact us so we can make some partnership pairs. Uh, we also have a student club called the World Student Association, again designed to bring U.S. and international students together. Um, I think in general just helping them understand the U.S. educational system, um, what the classroom expectations and, and uh, norms are here in the United States can be helpful. So for the faculty out there, please know that uh, during the first week of the semester, I will send an email to each of you to let you know if you have any international students on the F1 student visa in your classes. It's also a great way to um, kind of indicate which students are here on the student visa and, and kind of welcome them into the classroom and invite their voices into the classroom. You can also use it as a way to kind of pose the question, are there any other people here who have ever lived or studied abroad and bring in those voices from our non-international student visa holders that still have some really relevant um, cross-cultural experiences and, and welcome their voices into the classroom too.